welcome, 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 welcome back, guys. I'm the cinematic lunatic. Uh, it's 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 been a while. I've been uh, I, I've been a I've been a bit busy lately. Um, you're, you're probably you're probably wondering who this uh this thing is. Um, it, it's a it's a dead body. Just just to let you know. Just it, don't. Don't get it confused. It's not. It's not a, a horse or a goat. It's a. It's a human. It's a human dead body. Probably wondering why. Uh, well, um. Well, I. I haven't been that good at um, keeping secrets on the internet. I've kind of had to change locations. Uh, I've kind of had to move to Mexico and back. I've kind of had. I've, I've done. I've done a lot of things, and it's kind of. It's kind of. We need to ignore that for now. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna distribute this body. I'm gonna take this body and up. Um, dispose of it. Um, but uh, remember my first ever Toy Story review. Probably not, cause I haven't uploaded in like a year or so. And in internet standards, that's kind of like a whole millennium. Goddamn fucking millenniums. That's why are these people so. Am amnesiatic, like, apparently, uh, like, a decade is like a century to these fucking uh, me generation fucking out. I don't know, I don't care. You remember what I said about, um, you know... Josh Whedon? You worked on this movie? <sighs> That's a subject for another day. Uh, I'm finally going to talk about why I don't... Particularly like uh, Josh Whedon. I I wanted this to be more of a review of something. I was planning on it being Doctor Horrible, uh, but I just gave up. Cause I I just gave up. I just gave up trying, trying to treat this as, like sack of shit human being. Like he's like he deserves to be praised for his work. I I try. I tried. I tried. I tried. I've tried several drafts. I've I've tried I've several drafts of work, uh, but no, this guy doesn't deserve any sort of recognition for work. He's got this demonic, demonic sort of fucking fan base of creatures and awful human beings. These dorks, these geeks, these fucking pathetic sons of bitches. And ah, uh, this isn't gonna be a traditional cinematic lunatic review. I just needed to get off my chest that why I do not like Josh Whedon. Oh, by the way, um, should I really take care of this body like this? I just, it's, it's not healthy. I don't feel like it's gonna particularly help the body if I put him. So, um, in 1992, I think, I don't know, I'm not gonna fucking fact check this shit, but, um, Buffy entered the scene. It was once a film that no one gave a shit about, but then it became a TV show, and then everyone gave a shit about it, because, uh, because it, it was on AB, the, because it was on the WB, and honestly, there wasn't that good stuff on the WB, except for, well, no, there was nothing really that good on the WB specifically, but, uh, but yeah, uh, Buffy became a big super hit. The popularity of Buffy showed, um, Josh Whedon really had a thing for for action women, and I'm not, I don't have any problems against that, it's just, the thing that Josh Wien likes to do the most is kind of destroy fiction with the ways he deconstructs it, um, some people, there's things called, um, post, um, there's this term called, um, post-modernism, it's a, it's a phrase referring to the deconstruction of fiction to eventually, to a point until it eventually just asks the question, why? What's the point? Now, Joss Whedon is a... He's sort of an atheist. He's not purely, oh, God is pointless and worthless. He, just, he doesn't believe in it, but, um... He's, he's nothing against it, is what I'm trying to say. And that really shows in his work. Because the whole point of most of his works in fiction is to point out how pointless everything, everything in his works is. Um, he really does love to play with the established ideas. The whole point of Buffy is basically taking the idealized image of a female um, damsel in distress and reversing it. Basically, what I'm trying to say, he really likes to give the fuck you to anything 
fictional. Like, Dr. Horrible's, uh... A superstar block basically focused on uh, being a fuck you to all things uh, superhero related with uh, with the constant uh, subversions and uh, aversions and deconstructions and the reverse and the reverse and the blah blah, blah blah of all things superheroes. The villain is the protagonist, the hero is the antagonist, the he villain plays the traditional role of villain. He does crimes, he uh, stalks a girl. But it's all played uh, sympathetically in contrast to all the heroic things done by the uh, villain, hero, the hero villain, the, the, the antagonist of Captain Hammer, who is uh, kind of a dick. And he, just all the complex things, and he likes to play with your emotions, he tries to be all happy one minute, and the goddamn depressing the second. <sighs> In a second flash, like, not even, like, a time to breathe. Like, oh, you like this? <laughs> oh, and uh, I'm not even going to talk about William Shakespeare. Mr. William Shakespeare apparently had a meeting with Josh Whedon, and he's like, oh, uh, hey, 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 you wanna, you wanna adapt one of my very plays? I'm, I'm sick and tired of goddamn Kenneth Branagh just, uh, just doing all the, the four hour boring shit, cause goddamn it, if I wanted to watch four hours of me performing, if I wanted to watch a four hour Shakespeare experience, I would have actually gone to one of my fucking plays. But yeah, um, you wanna do, you wanna do much ado about nothing? You know, the nothing as in the vagina? That's what the nothing in the title meant. It meant vagina. You like it, don't you? And then Josh Wien was like, sure. Uh, again, this kind of just bullshit, like, it's meant to be in, I don't know what century, but it's an old, old decade, but he, he puts it in modern times. He also, like, plays with all the the selfishness of the main characters and all that kind of bullshit. Yeah, anyway, um... Also, Cabin in the Woods is basically just a fuck you to anybody who, who liked horror, horror films. <laughs> and just, uh, I, I can't even explain why exactly, because for some reason, that one film manages to be, I, this is the only image I can show you. This is the only thing I can show you about the film, because the internet will freak the fuck out if I spoil anything else with this film. Because apparently, apparently despite the fact this is the f fucking internet... The fucking internet, I might add, who likes to spoil everything. I now know that that guy from Breaking Bad has half of his face burned off. I I, I know that the Mandarin is actually just a, a fucking actor. I, I, know, I know that a lot of people die in Game of Thrones during the Red Massacre, but apparently, apparently, Cabin Wood somehow managed to be spoiler-free. I... What... How? Why? How? But yeah, uh, for all those who haven't seen it, don't. Just don't watch. Just don't watch his films. But if you've seen it, you know basically why. It's a, it's a, it's a fuck you to. It's just, it's it's goddamn it. He, he hates that you like things. He hates. He hates it. He hates your enjoyment. He hates it. There's only been one. There's only been one film, there's been one film that he's made that hasn't been just a pure, venomous, awful, just fuck you to everything fictional, and that was The Avengers. Now, it still had a bunch of his other uh, sort of tropes, it had, uh, it had the, the cynical sort of humor, it, it played with tropes, ideas, and all that stuff, it's humorous, it's all, it's funny, um, and it also had a bunch of other things, um, there's a scene with, uh, Black Widow tied up to a chair, being the shit out of people while she's tied up to a chair, which not only plays with uh, uh, more tropes, because you know what, he likes wanking. Joss Whedon just loves to wank off to the idea of deconstructing ideas established in fiction, but also you probably actually want to wank off to Scarlett Johansson in a tied up in a chair, bound and gagged, uh, helpless in a dress, in a dress, might I add you, and if also. Not only that, but he's ha apparently had that idea for years and years and years, and apparently in this in his fucked up, bald-headed head mind thing, he he's he's just been like, oh, I just <sighs> I want I want I wanted I want that idea on the screen. Here it is on the screen. Here it is on the screen. Oh, and I'm not even gonna talk about after um. After everybody loves Avengers, even I love Avengers. Avengers is awesome. He apparently, he apparently, he, the, the, this fuck knob thinks, oh, 
It's a good experience. It's a good, like, you know, a fun enjoyment of experience, but it's not a good film. It's not a good film, because, you know, only good films, the only good films I make are the ones that make you goddamn want to shoot yourself in the head. But I've never, I've never actually, goddamn, there's blood fucking everywhere. Goddamn. I, I gotta, I gotta clean this up. I gotta get, like, a, a Kleenex or something, like, clean it up. Like, with Kleenex. Anyway, um, Josh Ween, uh, there's the main thing I don't like Josh Ween. There's this one thing, there's one thing, this, this whole rant has been building up to this, this, this one point that I'm trying to say. Josh Whedon is doing the job of a critic as a filmmaker. Basically, his entire work and registrum has been telling you, hey, you know what would be fun if we played around with this? You know what would be fun if just this happened or this happened? These ideas are the ideas of a critic. Going, hey, why is this damsel in distress constantly being used and used over and over again? Could we get a change of pace? And then, then Josh Wing goes, oh yeah, I'll give you a change of pace. And uh, it makes sense when you realize he's basically become, he's a critic that managed to become a filmmaker. It's like a reverse, a reverse Roger Ebert, where he makes a crappy exploitation film and then he becomes a goddamn critic. With the jaw, it goes down, 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 down. Then I put a thumb down on my health. And that is why I fucking love Joss Whedon. He's a brilliant, he's a brilliant motherfucking guy. He's a... He's doing what audiences want to see. Different ideas deconstructed. We love to see different. We love to see something that we haven't seen before. We want to see things ruined, like our childhoods to robot chicken, and we want it ruined because it's interesting. We've never seen something ruined as badly, and people love him. He's a, he's a genius, and oh my, oh, I, I just, I, his work is brilliant. It's critically acclaimed. It's that's the thing. It's brilliant, but it's short. It's hateful and spiteful, but it's still beloved. His entire... His entire work catalog is just nothing but oxymorons. Josh Whedon gets a 6 out of 5 and, and a 0 out of 5. And God, I gotta get rid of this body. I decided to have my uh, imaginary friend Denny uh, come back uh, to sing a little Bob Dylan. Uh, this is uh, Denny's Bob Dylan impression of... Uh, a man's gotta do. Don't enjoy this. The man's gotta do. What the man's gotta do. I, man, am regal. A German, am I? My name is Captain Hammer. But really, Lisa Bonnet ain't no basil. Now here's the harmonica solo.